Good morning, everyone. I'd like to thank everyone for joining us both remotely and in person today. My name is Cyril Turton, and I am proud to represent Spruce Grove and Stony Plain as their MLA. Today, it is my honor to join Minister Leela Sharna here and representatives from the Western Hockey League, the Alberta Junior Hockey League, and our local AJHL team, the Spruce Grove Saints. Now, we all know of the impacts that COVID-19 has had on our province. Today, we're going to hear how a government initiative will benefit junior hockey here in Alberta. And with that being said, I'd like to turn the microphone over to Minister here. Minister? Thank you very much, Cyril, and good morning, everyone. I can't believe this sun is out today, and we're not having to stand in minus 40 to do this announcement. This is wonderful. I am so ecstatic to be able to make this announcement today at the Grand Fur Arena here in the home of the Spruce Grove Saints. Uh, as I look back on these past 12 months, it's really, it's difficult to list how many ways that our lives have been impacted and how difficult it's been because of COVID-19. At this time, last year, I was so honored to be amongst young athletes from across the province at the Alberta Winter Games in Airdrie. And COVID-19, wow, what amazingly different ways that we have to live our lives these days. How we interact with our family, our friends, and quite honestly, how we live our lives. And as you know, sports at all levels have been impacted. And practices and games and workouts have all been curtailed or canceled. And this is certainly very, very true for junior hockey in our province. Last year's season was cut short, and this year's season has been really significantly affected. And those disruptions have had negative effects on the leagues, our teams, and the province. And it's had an impact on communities that share over $100 million that junior hockey actually injects into all of our local economies. It affects the young players whose sporting careers are impacted, potentially limiting opportunities for them to advance to international or professional playing opportunities. The COVID pandemic has had a very, very significant impact on all of our fans. Gathering at an arena like this once upon a time seemed like a very normal thing, but today it seems like a bit of a distant memory. Since the arrival of the pandemic in our province, Alberta's government has worked really, really hard at protecting the lives and livelihoods of Albertans. Uh, we've done everything from purchasing masks for Albertans, we've created support programs for businesses and organizations because their revenues have been so significantly altered as we took steps to fight the current pandemic. Another important change that we made will actually give junior hockey a real chance to weather the economic troubles created by this virus. Alberta's government, through the Alberta Gaming and Liquor and Cannabis, the AGLC, amended its policy so to permit online ticketing sales for licensed charitable organizations and to conduct 50-50 draws, allowing adult Albertans to purchase tickets online from anywhere in the province. That change has enabled the Western Hockey League and Alberta Junior Hockey League to come up with this amazing and innovative fundraising initiative. With teams and communities right across the province, adult Albertans will help light the financial lamp for their favorite teams. And we are so excited about this, guys. I'm so happy to be able to announce today the Jackpots for Junior Hockey Online 50-50 Initiative being launched to help support the WHL and the AJHL Junior Hockey in Alberta. This means that junior hockey fans from the Oil Barons to the Hitmen, the Bobcats to the Wolverines will have an opportunity to support our WHL and AJHL teams. This is a vital step that will help to see junior hockey keep going on in Alberta. So I don't know about you, <laughs> but I'm really, really excited to get back to live hockey and watching live hockey again. So we are asking that all adult Albertans get on side with this initiative and go online and buy tickets. Your support is critical to ensuring the long-term sustainability of junior hockey, which is at the heart of so many of our communities in this great province. I want to thank you all, to all Albertans in advance, for the purchase of your tickets. I also want to thank you for the tremendous sacrifices that you've all made to keep our province safe and healthy. Thank you for that. Your support is going to benefit leagues, teams, 
and most importantly, the incredible communities who, where these teams live and play. And the lucky ticket holders sharing in the weekly jackpots, I would say that's just an added incentive to play. So thank you in advance for supporting this great initiative and I'm gonna hand it back to you, Cyril. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Minister, here for this exciting announcement. And now I'd like to call upon Mr. Ron Robinson, the Commissioner of the Western Hockey League, to speak on behalf of the league. Thank you and good morning, everyone. On behalf of the Western Hockey League and our five Alberta-based clubs, I'm very pleased to be here today to announce this exciting new initiative, Jackpots for Junior Hockey, presented by REMAX, in partnership with the Government of Alberta, the Alberta Junior Hockey League, and the WHL's longest standing corporate partner, REMAX. The COVID-19 pandemic has put our 20 junior hockey teams in Alberta at risk of not being able to continue to operate. Our teams rely almost entirely on ticket sales and sponsorships in order to survive. With COVID-19 restrictions preventing fans from attending our games, our teams are simply not viable. Our 20 junior hockey, Alberta junior hockey teams are not only a critical source of local pride and inspiration during these challenging times, but are also major economic drivers for their communities throughout the province, generating over $100 million annually for the Alberta economy. Our teams are an integral part of the social and cultural fabric of the 20 Alberta communities they represent, attracting over 1 million fans and contributing over 1.4 million in local support to minor hockey and charitable organizations each season. The WHL and AGHL teams also employ over 1,500 full-time and part-time employees. The WHL is a world-leading development league. It represents the best of both worlds, both on and off the ice. From serving as a leading supplier to the National Hockey League and Canada's national, national teams, to our extensive WHL scholarship program, which awards over 400 scholarships annually, including 150 to Alberta-born athletes, the WHL takes great pride in building future leaders for our communities. With the cancellation of the 1920 season, including the balance of our regular season, the loss of our playoffs and championship and the Memorial Cup, and this season with, with no fans in attendance, we continue to face great uncertainty. The support provided by Jackpots for Junior Hockey is critical to ensuring our junior hockey teams in Alberta can continue to operate. We continue to receive tremendous support from the mayors and local MLAs in all of our centers throughout the province and look forward to continuing to contribute to the civic pride in each of the communities in which we call home. As we get ready to open our 2021 WHL season right here in Alberta on Friday, special thanks to Alberta Health for your confidence in us and to our WHL team ownership represented today, also the Spruce Grove Saints owner today, Dan LeCelt, of course the Seattle Thunderbirds owner, for their commitment under very difficult circumstances to deliver a development season for our players. And of course, thank you very much to Premier uh, Kenny, Minister Ahir, MLA Turton, and the Government of Alberta for their uh, tremendous support of this initiative, and to Ryan Bartashik, the Alberta Junior Hockey League, for their partnership, and to our corporate partner, REMAX, for making all of this possible. We look forward to your support, and thanks very much for attending today. Thank you very much, Commissioner Robinson. We're also pleased to be joined today by Mr. Ryan Bartashik, Commissioner of the Alberta Junior Hockey League, and, and at this time, I would ask that he join, uh, join us at this stage to talk on behalf of, of the JHL. Thank you, Cyril. It's my pleasure to represent the Alberta Junior Hockey League and its 16 member communities here today. Through unique and dynamic relationships, the AJHL is deeply intertwined throughout this province. Although the challenges of this past year have been new and unfamiliar, the community support and passion for our teams has been unwavering. And we look forward to capturing that passion through this initiative. The jackpots for junior hockey 50-50 will allow junior hockey teams in this province to remain in their communities. Without financial support, communities are at risk of losing their teams. Ensuring that these teams remain viable is not only a vital stimulus for the Alberta economy, but it also helps our communities cope from a physical and mental well-being standpoint. Thank you to the Government of Alberta 
the Western Hockey League, Minister here, and Remax for their support. Thank you. Thank you so much for your comments, Commissioner. Today's announcement is of tremendous importance, not only for the leagues, but for the five WHL and 16 AJHL teams here in the province. At this time, I'd like to invite Dan LeKelp, Governor of the Spruce Grove Saints, to come forward and speak about the importance of this initiative for his team. Good morning, everybody. The funds generated through the Jackpots for Junior Hockey 50-50 will be allocated towards maintaining operations for our teams during the pandemic gives our, our Alberta-based teams the ability, ability to sustain top levels of junior hockey in the province. From an ownership perspective, we feel it's important to ensure our junior hockey age athletes can continue playing high-performance hockey as these are critical years for them determining their future. The junior hockey experience in Alberta is a great pr privilege for players. It's made possible by the fans, billets, volunteers, and team supporters in each of our communities. Without you, junior hockey would be non-existent. Thank you for your support. In addition, I wanna thank the businesses in all of our 20 junior communities in Alberta for their continued backing. Small, medium, and large businesses are an essential aspect for all of our teams. And we look forward to providing you value to each of your businesses as the seasons begin. Lastly, I'd like to recognize and give thanks to the hard work of the Western Hockey League, the Alberta, Alberta Junior Hockey League, and the government of Alberta. My peers and I have an appreciation of, of the partnership the AJHL and WHL have formed to create this initiative for the benefit of all 20 junior hockey teams in the province of Alberta. We look forward to starting the season and bringing excitement to the communities once again. Thank you. Thank you so much for your comments, Dan. And now this concludes the formal portion of, of the announcement. At this point, I'm going to turn the microphone over to Amanda LeBlanc, Press Secretary for Minister here, so she can answer, or sorry, manage the question and answer portion of the event. Again, thank you everyone for attending and tuning in to this terrific announcement on the Junior Hockey Jackpot Initiative. Amanda? Good morning, everyone. Um, if we could have the operator put through the first caller, please. We'll have about 10 minutes for media questions today. This is Andrew Walker with 88.1 FM. Go ahead, Andrew. Good morning. This is a question for the Minster, and if uh, Emily Turton would like to comment on this. How long was this in the works, and what about release for junior B teams in the province? I know Parkland County has the Flyers and the Regals, and their seasons were cancelled recently. Will they get some aid down the road too? Well, thank you very much for the question. Um, there, right now, we're working with this particular group. Um, I will actually have to give full credit to the AJ AJHL and WHL. This is a program that they've worked out with the AGLC in order to be able to support junior hockey. And what we're doing right now is we're working with health, with other organizations to find out what their return to play is, and then we'll go forward from there. Thank you. Awesome. I guess just to speak uh, in regards to the second part of the question, you know, supporting our local junior hockey teams has been a huge priority for so many MLAs right across this province. And I've been extremely happy that Minister here has had an open door policy with many of us MLAs that have been, been advocating for local teams and like the Saints, for example, here in Spruce Grove. And I'm just thankful and I'm very excited to hear about this announcement. Very thankful to the minister for doing so much work in this file. And it's going to be a great, uh, a great um, incentive for Albertans to support their local junior hockey teams. Yeah, so get out there and buy your tickets right away. Thank you. Operator, you can fit through the next caller, please. Next is Quinn Phillips with Global News. Go ahead, Quinn. Thank you. Uh, this question is for Dan, and if one or both commissioners could also comment, I would appreciate it. Uh, can you give us just a, a better idea of how strained you and other owners were and have been, and what options you were having to consider ahead of this announcement? 
Uh, most, uh, a lot of teams, depending on their communities, uh, are strained uh, for sure. And it has a lot to do with, obviously, um, economic impacts they've experienced over the last five years, even prior to COVID, have left a lot of uh, community-based teams in, in uh, you know, difficult positions. Um, you know, do, doing our best to keep everybody employed. Uh, that's been our motto. And uh, trying to do our best to um, represent the businesses that, that support us, that's been our mantra as well. So whatever we've been doing, we want to help the community and just bring, bring back uh, excitement back to the community and help everybody out. Great, thank you. Um, did any of the other commissioners want to add to that? I think I can speak on behalf of all the junior hockey teams uh, in the province that when you consider that we're a fan dependent league uh, with over 90% of the revenues coming from ticket sales and local sponsorship, that you can understand where all of the expenses now are, are borne by the ownership of those teams. Many are very uh, uh, um, in difficult positions to begin with. And when you add this on top of it, it's a very difficult position to obviously recover from. Thank you, Commissioner Robinson and Commissioner Fleshek. Thanks, Quinn. Um, yeah, it, it's been a challenge over the over the past year, and, and obviously things are changing on a regular basis. But the foundation of of our leagues are our community, and that community support, whether that's billets, our facilities, our community leaders, leaders are integral uh, to our operations. So you know those challenges have been um, <laughs> very consistent over the past year, and, and we've worked hard with our member teams and, and here with this initiative with the Western Hockey League and the government, Alberta, to, to ensure we can move forward and that our teams can remain in their communities. Thank you. Operator, you can put through the next caller, please. Next is Michael King with Global News. Go ahead, Michael. Hi there, for the minister. Um, can you clarify how much money is being put into this campaign, if any, um, by the province, including advertising? And also, what do you say to the, uh, the people, the families of, of kids? Uh, we see that the province is now promoting junior hockey, but other groups can't even play games. What do you say to them? Well, it's a, it's a significantly different situation. Um, the AJHL just got their return to play um, put forward through health, and uh, the WHL was done on January 21st. And it's a, it's a very significant work this very significant work that they're actually all doing in order to stay in bubbles and to stay safe there's a ton of work that goes into making sure that those cohorts are playing together they're not allowed to leave their bubbles they have to stay committed to only being in that play there's a lot that goes into making sure that those junior hockey teams can actually play and i want to thank the commissioners and everybody for their work um, in being able to put together a very strong protocol in order for these teams to be able to play. Um, this initiative is actually as a result of changes that were made to the AGLC in order to allow uh, these organizations to actually be able to have 50-50s. It became a lot more flexible for a lot more organizations to be able to do that. So that's how this initiative goes forward. So this is very, very dependent upon Albertans, all of us going out there and buying our tickets and supporting these teams that we love. Thank you, Operator. You can put in the next caller, please. Next is Dean Bennett with the Canadian Press. Go ahead, Dean. Oh, thanks, Minister. I have a quote to read from you uh, uh, from Rachel Notley. Demonstrations of white nationalism are a real threat, and we must confront that threat. No radicalized, racialized person should feel unsafe in our community. That's Rachel Notley quickly after the, uh, the Tiki Torch Parade. You're multiculturalism, Minister. Why have you and your government, I stand to be corrected, not said a thing about this? And given your silence, what does that say about you and your government? I'm sorry, which, or, which situation was this? I'm sorry, it's hard to hear out here. Can you repeat the question? Minister, uh, unless I've missed something, you and your government have not said a thing about the uh, Tiki Torch Parade on Saturday. Uh, why not? And what does that say about you and your government? 
Okay, well, um, to, right now I'm actually focused on making sure that junior hockey gets back up on its feet again. Obviously, obviously, white supremacy, white supremacy and racism is never, ever tolerated in this province, should not be tolerated in this country at all. I think I've been very, very clear about that. Um, I am happy to uh, make a statement right now that anybody, uh, peaceful protest is a very, very important part of democracy. I'm very happy to support any support of uh, peaceful protest. However, race, uh, racism, white supremacy, any of that is absolutely, imperatively, absolutely and unequivocally unacceptable at any time. I don't know if you read an article that I wrote about a year and a half ago about white supremacy. I have absolutely been exposed to that in my past. I find this question to be completely in, in, uh, very disingenuous considering my own uh, background and considering what I've actually had to put up with in my lifetime when it comes to white supremacy. So if you didn't hear it, hear it now. It's not acceptable and it never will be. I hope that I'm clear. Thank you. Thank you, and we have time for one more question. So if you can fit through the last and final caller, please. Final question is Jay Janauer with Global News. Go ahead, Jay. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. And I wouldn't mind just sneaking in two questions, one for the minister and one for uh, Western Hockey League Commissioner Ron Robinson. Um, minister, first off, congratulations on the initiative. I think what's been lost in this pandemic, as much as we care and worry about the most vulnerable being our senior citizens, and those with previous uh, ailments are the kids and, and not having sports and what it's meant not uh, having it for them. How vital was it for you to get the kids back on the ice when you consider mental health and what's at stake for these junior hockey players? Uh, vital is an understatement, actually, when you consider the mental health and well-being of our communities. And that's not just in sport, that's culture, arts, the entire gamut. Um, I actually want to take this opportunity to thank the MLAs um, the incredible advocacy that all of the MLAs did in the caucus in order to advocate to get kids back on the ice, back into programs, back into sport, back into dance, was heroic. And they did a lot of work to help with the organizations to come forward with Return to Play. As you know, many of these organizations did a ton of work in the first wave in order to make sure that they were safe in the protocol so those kids could return as soon as possible. So because largely in part of a lot, a lot of really great work done by the organizations, the lobbying of the parents, the organizations, and really to my friends and my, my ML, the MLAs who all came to us at various stages with all, all sorts of wonderful opportunities as to how we could do this. And to our wonderful Dr. Dina Hinshaw for listening, for taking the time to um, look at all of the different spaces and, and what she could do to help to make sure to get these kids back. Because as you can imagine, there's no way that Dr. Dina can know all the minutia of everything that goes on. So thank you again to everybody who advocated for that. This is truly uh, an Alberta moment, you know, when those things happen because it's Albertans that really push to make sure that these things happen. And we were really glad that we could listen and make that happen. Uh, Commissioner Robinson, uh, can you give us uh, an estimate, perhaps, how much money you're hoping the jackpots will bring in? And secondly, for those of us uh, west of the Rocky Mountains, can you categorize where things are at with the BC government as well as your BC teams here? Um, are you hopeful or are you more concerned that we may not have a season in BC? Well, first of all, I guess, uh, like anything, uh, we can't predict what the 50-50 results are going to be, but if the indications are of any 50-50s that have been conducted in association with hockey in this province, we're looking forward to some great results and some real enthusiasm. I think everyone understands how important these teams are to the communities throughout the province, and I'm sure there'll be a real rally point around this uh, jackpots for junior hockey. Uh, with respect to uh, BC, we're in discussions uh, ongoing with BC Health. Uh, we appreciate the leadership here in Alberta. Dr. Henshaw and the Alberta Health with their initiative to get us back on the ice starting this Friday. Uh, we're optimistic we're going to have a season in BC. Uh, we are working through uh, and have had good discussions and, and hopefully we'll have a resolution real soon uh, to get our teams uh, in BC active again. Thank you very much. Thanks everyone for coming out today.